Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sweet Tips here. And in this video, what we're gonna do is I've been accumulating and saving a big bag of carrot gold here uh, that uh, we've been accumulating. Uh, Mrs. Sweet Tips has been picking this stuff up and I just throw it in this bag here and save it up. And so what we're gonna try to do is refine this into pure gold should make about a 30 troy ounce bar of pure gold. Now this refining will tax the limits and capabilities of my small hobby refining operation here. Uh, I've got a uh, furnace that I'm planning to build and I found this nice metal fuel can at a yard sale and bought it for 10 bucks. So I think what I'm gonna do is when I go to make my furnace is use this metal uh, fuel can for my propane furnace. I've already got the burner, you've seen that, we tested that out. And uh, in order to do this large refining, I'm not gonna use the open face melt dishes like I did in the previous uh, big bar refining video that I did. I've got this little uh, electric furnace and so what we're going to do is we're going to put it to use to uh, do the inquartation and to uh, do the final melt when we pour our big 30 troy ounce pure gold bar. Okay, let's get right to it. Here we go. All right, let's take a look at this bag here. This is uh, all carat gold, 14, 10K, and 18K gold. And in this bin right here is a bunch of stuff that Mrs. Three Tips has gotten from me. She bagged, kind of sorts through it and gets the plated stuff from the gold filled stuff and the carrot stuff and gives it to me and I put it in this bin. Now it's time to go through all this stuff and see exactly what we got. Uh, she gets this stuff out and about. She's out searching every day. Uh, she's very particular about me disclosing on public media where she goes to get this material because if, uh, if she puts that word out, she's fearful that uh, everyone will show up and then she'll get nothing. So let's just kind of give us a get a weight on this here. We've got uh, 2,020 grams in this bag. Let's take off you know, 300 grams for bags in here so what we got here is uh 220 or 2020 minus 300 grams for the plastic that's 1720 grams of carrot gold all different carrots now 14 12 uh, 14 10 and 18 k gold so let's multiply this let's average it out to 12 we'll put Multiply the total weight of the metal by 0.5 to get the amount of pure gold that we're expecting here. That's 860 grams of pure gold. Divide that by 31.1 for the troy ounces. We're looking at 27.65 troy ounces of pure gold from this refining. All right, here's a batch that we picked up over the weekend of silver this is all sterling silver and what we'll do is we'll use this metal to inquart the carrot gold that once we get it all sorted out and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do it off camera I might show a few clips of what I do to clean the metal up to get it ready for refining, but I've got three bins here, 14, 10, and 18K. And I'll clean all this up, get all the springs and non-gold material uh, removed from it. And then we'll uh, put it in these bins and then we'll calculate how much of this silver here that we need to add and then quart the carrot gold with silver and then part it out with nitric acid. Let me... Uh get set up here and see if we can start sorting through this get it all sorted out into 
uh, the different carrots so that we can uh, calculate how much sterling silver we need to add. This has already been sorted. All right, let's see what we got in this bag. I think this has all been sorted according to carrot. It's 10 carat gold in here. And just to show you what I'm doing, uh, this is a catch. And what I want to do is I want to uh, save all our catches. So I just snip it off here and then put this. Let me see, is that 10K? That's 10K. Goes in the 10K bin back here. Undo the catch. I save the catches. They all go in a little jar here. What I do is I save all of these catches. I put them in this uh, screen here and then I put them in the ultrasonic cleaner and get them nice and clean. But these pieces that are just remnants of uh, broken stuff, the uh, little backs for the earrings like these here, little 14K gold backs, I'll put them in here and save them. I can either resell them or just hold on to them. And speaking of holding on to stuff, there's I pop these open with a pair of clippers here so that they don't explode when I put the heat to them. Uh, speaking of holding on to this stuff, there is really no reason to have to refine this metal into pure metal. You can hold it just like it is, and it will track right on up with spot price of gold. Uh, the only reason I choose to refine it is because this is my hobby, and I enjoy the challenge. These diamonds here, they're not uh, very choice, but I can still use them in a customer's ring. So I'm just going to pull them out of here. And uh, once we get them out, what we'll do is I've got a little uh, screen device here. And I just put the diamonds in there. And then we'll put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. And clean those diamonds up. And then I'll save them. And add those to my collection for folks that need a diamond, if they lose one out of their ring or the other piece of jewelry, just put them in this little screen container here. And it's just a little fine wire mesh stainless steel screen. And I can keep them in here and then I'll soak these in the ultrasonic and then uh, clean them out. And then we'll put them in our uh, diamond collection here and make those available for folks who may have lost a diamond out of a piece of jewelry. I've got all the metal sorted out. I've removed all the stones, all the springs, and all non-gold material from all of the scrap that I've accumulated. I'm going to put this up on the uh, scale now. This is a container that weighs 89.3 grams. It's my 14K gold. I'm going to get a weight on this. You can see we've got 1,005.1 grams. Subtract the 89.3. And we've got 915. 0.8 grams of 14k 915.8 grams of 14k now I'll take that down off the scale this is our 10k I've got it in a container that weighs 85.3 grams put that on the scale we've got 400 25.2, 425.2. Take away the weight of the container, minus 85.3 equals. So we've got 339.9 grams of 10K. 
three, three, nine point nine. 10K. Now the 18K, it's in a container that weighs 90.8 grams. All right, we've got 154.6 minus the weight of the container, 90.8 equals. So we've got 63. 0.8 grams of 18K. I've got some pieces of pure gold here that I'm going to throw in with the batch. This is a little heart. Let's see if I can get the uh, reading on that. It says 995 on the bale there. I'll put that on the scale. This is a little panda coin that I Pride loose out of a ring, pure gold. And then this is the uh, button that we recovered from the uh, gold-plated scrap video series. And that's going to come to a grand total of 8.3 grams of 24K. Here's my calculations. The 10K multiplied by 0.417 equals 141.7 grams. This is the uh, number of grams of pure gold in these samples right here. And I expect to get 731.7 grams of pure gold from all this metal up here. Divide that by 31.1 grams because that's how many grams are in a troy ounce. And we come up with a number, 23.5 troy ounces. Okay, what I'm going to do is I've got some shot here, some 24K gold shot in this bottle. And I'm going to include that with this refining this is already pure gold. But just for the show, I'm going to add this to the refining so that we can get a bigger bar. So I'm going to pour this in here and measure the amount of gold we got in this uh, bottle here so that I can include it with this batch. We got 63.3 grams. If you divide that by 63.3 divided by 31.1 equals, that'll give us two additional ounces of pure gold. So add that on and we get a total of 25.5 troy ounces of pure gold. So that's how big our bar will be. That's as high as I dare go here because uh, this is the size crucible I'll be using to melt the pure gold in in my electric furnace. It is a 30 troy ounce crucible and I'll be putting 25 troy ounces of pure gold in it and melting it. What I'd like to try to do is melt it all at once and get a big old slug of gold and then pour it in this mold. Here are my calculations for the amount of sterling silver that I need to add to all this gold to import it properly. I've calculated the amount for each carat and then got a total here. We're gonna need 1,699.5 grams just call it 1,700 grams of sterling silver to import all of this gold properly. All right, I'm gonna measure out 1,700 grams of sterling silver from our container back here. Hope we got that much. Nothing 
just touching. Zero this out. Here we go. This is all sterling silver that's been checked. So I know it's sterling. All right, that's 914.3. The decimal places are not that critical. Let's move this out of here. And now what we'll do is put our container up here. We need about what, 600 more grams, seven, eight, almost 800 more grams of silver. Hope I got enough here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to uh, break out a silverware uh, collection that I have. Hope this is enough, man. If you can see, it's been a big pain already trying to get enough silver together to make this thing happen. That's 648. I've got uh, 1,562 grams of silver here. I'll put it back in our empty container and see if I can scrounge up some more silver to complete what we need. All right, I had to scrounge around and find a little bit more silver that I had. 126, 7, 9, 8, 6. I got 1689.7. That's what we're gonna use right there. We're gonna use 1689.7 to encourt all of our gold with. Here's all the silver we're gonna use here. Just put it all in one container. And that's all the silver we're gonna use to encourt all the gold we got set aside back here in the back. This will conclude part one of the 25 Troy ounce gold refining video. I've got it all separated. I've got the amount of silver separated and set aside so that we can do the actual alloying of the carat gold with the sterling silver in my electric furnace. And then what we'll do is we'll pour that molten metal into water and make granules. And then we'll recover those granules out of the water and uh, do nitric acid boils in part two. And also I'll probably discuss a little bit about uh, the inquartation process in part two. We'll take a look at that. So uh, that will conclude part one of the 25 Troy ounce gold refining video. Thanks for watching.